think you have to understand the investing side, obviously, um, but you have to understand the business side. So you have to understand how to choose your partners from prime brokerage um, to your administrator um, to we actually do do sub dollaring to a sub dollaring partner um, to who we trade with, um, how good are they at trading, how good are they at execution. So there are many different areas you can focus on, um, including break even. Um, we've historically had extremely low break even. So even if assets swing, we're very comfortable um, and consistent and we're very good at projecting our own business. I think before you start modeling other businesses, it's great to be able to model your own and understand what the economics are. Um, and we're at two and 20. So we obviously try to keep um, comp in the 2%. So we're pretty much break even um, without having to make a lot of money on a year to year basis. So we don't have to um, chase the S&P. We can actually invest specifically as we see fit. And from the business side, when, we, when it came time to look at our documents, and it's obviously very important who your partners on the legal side are also, um, in terms of integrity. Um, you know, our, our documents allow us a lot of flexibility. So I could take positions in many different geographies, I could uh, scale my positions, and we have flexibility in terms of exposure also. So that's another thing um, to consider, because if your group does go out of favor, you can migrate somewhere else and take um, opportunities somewhere else as you see fit. So that's another thing that we thought was very important. Nelly? Uh, so I wholeheartedly agree with what you're saying about understanding your business. One of the things that we did before we launched was, well, first of all, we wrote a business plan. Um, and then we spent a lot of time putting together a budget. And um, the budget ended up being pretty right on. And that was important because we, uh, well, we, when we went around talking with other people who had started their own firms, um, one gentleman suggested, uh, try seeding your operating company with at least three years of capital, assuming you got no revenues at all for three years. And we said, well, you know, we're not, we're, it's not going to take us three years to get revenues, but that sounds like a great suggestion because it will be symbolic. <laughs> A, a symbolic sign of this commitment to longevity that we have um, as a team and a firm. Well, first of all, <laughs> um, raising capital, they, they always say it takes a lot longer uh, than you think it will take. But because we had had a pretty good estimate of what our burn rate was going to be, we were able to stick it out. Um, but it, I, I, I don't think we would have been comfortable having any less capital than that to start. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, uh, you spoke about partners. Um, for, for us, the partnership among the teammates is the most crucial thing. Um, the partnership among the teammates, which extends um, to the spirit of partnership that we have with our clients. Um, when you start a firm, it's stressful. It's hard. Uh, there are good days. But there are bad days, too. And the, the good days are even better than the average professional's good days. But the bad days are worse. So having teammates whom you really trust um, and whom you can really count on and whose professionalism and excellence you believe in implicitly is indispensable. Sometimes I'll speak with. Um, people who are thinking about launching a firm and they say, do you think I should launch the firm myself? And uh, my reaction is always, oh my goodness, no. When we started our company, uh, Stuart and I were, uh, we were three portfolio managers, for three founders. Stuart and I were portfolio managers and our co-founder, Valerie, um, ran the business. And this is a full-time job for her. I could never imagine trying to run the portfolios um, in the morning and afternoon and run the business in the evening. So um, having extremely strong team members, having a deep amount of trust between the team members, um, and then just having enough bandwidth on your team to be able to run a professional operation are extremely important. Gotcha. And then we hired also, once we um, had a little bit of a track record to be able to share. We hired a director of client development, um, Marta Cotton, who's here. Marta's hey, right Marta. there. 
um, which was also really important because uh, Marta helps us to manage relationships and goes to conferences and follows up with people and stays on top of things. And it, again, you know, it's such a comfort to know that all of these things are being handled at, at, at a level that you know you as a founder might want to handle it yourself, but um, you know, you've got a team, teammates that you can count on to do it.